time is 7.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on day three of the Digital Catan World Championships. I am thinking I have to play a seventh match because I played six matches, won three, lost three, and here I am playing in a seventh match, not streaming because I'm not at home to record or to put this on Twitch and stream it live. So I start this match, and keep in mind, I started searching for the seventh match at around 7.15, 7.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, knowing that there could be a chance that I could lose the seventh match. At the time, when I clicked on search for seventh match, or play a tournament game, my my rankings in my qualifier group, I was at rank nine. And then as it got that was at seven oh five PM Eastern Standard Time on this particular Sunday, the last day of my tournament time. By the time I rechecked it at around seven ten, I had fallen to rank eleven. And that was unacceptable because to advance to the tournament finals on November thirteenth, two thousand and twenty one you had to be in the top nine, and if you were in the 10th position, you would have a chance to advance, but it wasn't guaranteed. So as such, I waited a little longer, about 7.15, 7.18-ish, to play a 7th match, because I figured basic Catan games can take anywhere from 30 to 50 minutes. It just depends. And if I absolutely was going to get destroyed in this match... What I could do is just stall, because you see the turn timer, everyone gets 90 seconds per turn before you have to pass your turn, and then let the next person roll the dice. So I figured, even if I'm going to lose, I could stall the game out long enough so that the match would continue just past 8pm Eastern Standard Time, when the qualifier would end for my group. And if I could force the match to go beyond the time limit, then it wouldn't count. And I would remain in 11th place in the rankings because in the Digital Catan World Championships rules, it stated that 11th to 15th place players in the rankings from each of the 27 groups, hang around, pay attention to your email because if someone does not show up on the November 13th finals, if they're not available, then they will call in 11th place and if 11th place is not available, they'll keep on going all the way to 15th, pl 15th place and then perhaps beyond. But being at the 11th place ranking, I would still have a slight chance of getting into the finals. So I knew, if this game was not going to go my way, then I should stall it so that it would not count. Now here you are, watching this, about three and a half minutes in. So we're now coming up on 7.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as I'm playing this match on my phone, I am uh, watching at the, at, not at the theater, but I am at um, a building watching Black Widow with another group of people. But I'm also, I'm not focused on it because this will be my third watch through of the movie Black Widow. So of course I have to focus all my energy into the game, all my focus, all my attention and the time is winding down, but I'm trying to make my turn last as long as I possibly can. So here's the setup. Red has seven victory points. Purple's already at nine. I did not expect that to happen so quickly, which puts a wrench in the plan. So we need to stall purple from winning for as long as possible. Gray is also at seven. Gray just built a road system of eight and red decides to leave and become a bot which actually really screws me over because if red wanted to maintain a higher ranking or not lose elo score in this tournament match or in the tournament they should have stayed together we could have stole the match i should have put it in the game chat i should have thought about that to say hey red let's stall this out so that purple nor gray can win in advance in the ELO rankings for our tournament qualifier. 
but sadly I do not. So all I can do is keep buying development cards. And the six is this game were absolutely terrible, just not the best. And I did build on the three six eleven and the four nine six for my starting placements. And the only other place I was able to build out to was the two five. Just to have another ore hex because the fours did not get rolled for the first half of this game. I did not see a single four ore, which is why I built out to the five ore. And then now you just see a four got rolled, so I'm getting a little bit of ore here and there. But pretty much I'm just spamming development cards as much as I can. And then Gray continues to build the roads. They end up taking longest roads, so they have the nine length road which pulls purple back to seven, which is great. But now gray is the absolute power player at nine victory points. So at this point, six minutes in, we are at 7.52 p.m., eight minutes to go. Can we hold off? Can we stall the game for as long as we can? Thankfully, we do have the largest army by now, so we know that's not going to be taken by any anyone. And we have another knight in hand to continue to extend our... our um, Knights played, but we would absolutely love to draw victory point cards at this point. Because it's just taken too long to save it for the city. And at this point, if we could draw, there should be a total of... It's either four or five development victory point cards in the development card stack. So we're just going to draw as many as we can. And would you look at that? We draw another one, so we're up to seven. We are up to seven victory points... There is still hope, although it's fading. It's fading fast. And with red becoming a bot, we know that once we pass the dice, red's going to roll, and they're going to quickly end their turn. So we're going to not be able to extend the time that much, as much as we wanted to. There we go. Red rolls the eight, and eight's got rolled an incredible amount this game. Like, way, way too much. So really, had... I uh, had any sort of psychic abilities. I would have built on an 8. In this game, there was an 8 lumber and the 8 brick to be built on. And you see that purple is built on both, so they are the absolute roadmaster. Gray did take the longest road, but purple's going to go ahead and take it right back and pretty much secure it forever with an 11th length longest road. You see, I built the road up in between my 4 ore and my 9 wheat. I had a slight chance of connecting up to my other settlement. And then I could have potentially taken the longest road by building out to a whopping 14 length road system. Sadly, that would not be the case. Now, here we go. We're a little bit over 8 minutes in. It's 7.54. We just need 6 more minutes of the game to continue. And we can actually stall this one out, maintain our 11th place ranking, and that is why this game is such a thriller. Because not that we were actually going to win, but we just wanted to, st I just wanted to stall it long enough to where it actually wouldn't count. And I could just have six matches played, only those would count. And I would maintain my ELO score of approximately 1,096. And the top players above me, of course, had a little bit more than 1,096. With the top three or four having an ELO score of oh, just over 1,100, including Isaac at the number four spot. So I rolled a two. I, do, I did acquire a two, but it's just a lumber. Unfortunately, it was not a wheat. So I am getting very desperate to build all the development cards I possibly can. So unfortunately... I'm going to have to wait to do so. <clears throat> now, all the players in the game chat, may, you know, mainly purple and gray, they're very upset with me. They want me to end my turn as fast as possible. They're giving me the emoji, tap it on the watch, but I have to stall as much as I possibly can. There's the nine. Now I have the development card resources in hand. I could buy it, but here it is. This is the fateful last turn. Purple trades in lumber for the ore they need, or the wheat, whatever it was, 
to buy a development card, they draw a victory point. Now here's where I went wrong and I didn't realize it. On my the last time I bought a development card, it was a knight. Had I saved for the city instead, purple would have drew the knight, and then assuming gray did not draw a victory point or a development card after purple, then on this just this next turn I was gonna have, I would have drawn a third victory point card, which would have put me at eight victory points. And then perhaps if I was able to build a city, that would have been nine. And then just draw one more victory point for the ultimate victory. But alas, this is how it played out. And I was kicked out of the top 10, top 11 in my ranking qualifier group. I fell all the way to rank 22. And as such, I will not be able to play in the November 13th tournament final. I was looking very forward to it because I actually had a real chance and my only hope was to extend the game four more minutes. That's all I had to do. But alas, I was sadly I was not able to do so. So Catanians, there is your backstory on the seventh match thriller, thriller that I was not able to stream. And hopefully we'll have more digital Catan World Championships in the future. I want to thank you for watching. And also, I'll include this screenshot here at the end that shows, had I successfully stalled the game, I actually would have jumped up from a rank 11 to rank 10 because someone must have played, someone in the top 10 must have played another match and lost ELO score because in this screenshot you see that I actually would have, with the ELO score of 1096, would have not just maintain a eleventh rank placing, but also but advance to ten, and would have had a slight chance of being in the November thirteenth final. That's it. I'll see you all in future YouTube videos and Twitch live streams.